Did you know that you can run your entire agency off of some free apps? Well, in this video, I'm going to show you all of the apps that we use inside of our agency for free. Hi, I'm Taylor, a client account manager for digital marketing agencies. A few years ago, I left building my marketing agency to zero in on what I did best, which was keeping clients happy. Now, my team and I at Dot & Company are the world's first and only dedicated team of client account managers for digital marketing agencies. Now, we partner with tons of marketing agencies all around the world to make their agencies run smoother with a client-facing account manager that's been perfectly vetted, trained, and managed by us at Dot. On this channel, I'm going to give you a little bit of wisdom into the exact systems, trainings, templates that we use every day to support seven-figure agency owners every day as their client account managers. So make sure to subscribe so you don't miss any new videos and cheers to happy clients. Okay, I wanna help you run your agency for free using some of these really great tools. And I know a lot of times we see these things that are flashy and you might want to use the upgraded version, which is totally cool and we do for a lot of things, but there's some things that I think are important to remember that you can get away with using things for free. So let's get into it. Number one is Asana. And if you're familiar with Dot & Company, we use Asana and we love to talk about Asana all of the time. So inside of our agency, we use this as a project management tool. And not only do we keep projects and CRM in there, but we also use it to com communicate a lot. So it is very rare that I will ever email one of my team members and rarely do we slack back and forth because I'm a firm believer that everything should live in one place. So here are some things that we use Asana for free for mapping out our podcast. So we have everyone involved in the podcast production inside of one specific project. And we use this to ensure we have ideas brainstormed in there. And then every single podcast has its own task with a specific SOP and checklist in there. So we tap in and out the right people whenever they need to be helping us out with the podcast. And then you can just remove them as a collaborator. So they're not getting too much noise. We also use Asana for all of our sales pipelines. So we have uh, we use the board function inside of our sales pipeline, right inside of Asana, and we can see at all times how many people we have in each stage so that everything is one place, every you know person is its own task, and we can have all the communication right in there. What I love about using the free version of Asana for is that it's so simple and I just live in my inbox. I use everything that I need in there for free without even having to upgrade. Of course, some, there's some things in there that I would love to have upgrades for like private channels and uh, reporting and dashboards, but honestly, we don't need them inside of our business. We've used the exact same Asana software for three years now, and we have never actually had to upgrade it. So highly recommend using Asana. Number two is Grammarly. I am a huge fan of grammar when it comes to communicating with clients. So something that we encourage all of our team members to use is Grammarly. It not only tells you when you have spelling mistakes, but it also makes some suggestions to make better paragraphs or sentences or if something doesn't make sense. And I actually use the free version both on my desktop and Chrome browser. You can also have it so that it's across all of your platforms. So for example, like I was saying, we use Asana. So if I'm writing an Asana task or a blog post right inside of my Asana task, Grammarly will show me where there's mistakes right inside of Asana, which is really helpful. I encourage everyone to use Grammarly because it not only will help save you when it comes to spelling and punctuation, but it'll, it'll help you become way better communicators and in a really, really easy way. Number three is Toggle. This is a free time tracking software that we use across all of our team members here at DOT. And I think it's super important to track your time, not only for visibility for your other team members, but for accountability for yourself. I think it keeps you way more focused and focused in the right areas. So then you can look back on a weekly, monthly, quarterly basis and see how much time you're spending on each of your clients or projects, or may you, maybe you could optimize some of your time that you're spending. You can use this for free. I like to use it on my desktop. I download the desktop version and I always get reminders if I'm not tracking. At the end of the week, I always take a look at how many hours I've worked and on what. So highly recommend Toggle. 
Okay, so let me ask you, if you're an agency owner, would a client onboarding checklist using all these tools that we use be helpful? If so, make sure to write CAM below in the comments. Number four is Calendly. And if you are an agency owner or you work inside of an agency, you know that basically all day you are either in meetings or scheduling meetings to talk to clients. And how easy is it that you can quickly send somebody your link and they can book directly on your calendar? I find this honestly the best tool out there because it allows me to not only set my schedule to the way that I like to work or my productivity, but it also allows people to make sure that they have access to my calendar when they need. So for example, one of my clients has access to my Calendly so then whenever she wants to book, she can just pop on there and book a meeting with me. I think it's also really helpful when you are going back and forth, trying to schedule meetings. If somebody wants to reschedule, they don't need to send you an email and then you have to get bogged down with the back and forth. They can just click reschedule right there and it'll reschedule on their calendar. It can also link up to the Zoom link that you're gonna be using. It can send reminders for free. It'll go right into their Google Calendar as well as yours and within their time zone. So it's not this whole back and forth. You don't have to be doing like math to figure out what time someone's in. I highly recommend Calendly. It has actually saved me tons and tons of time and it's super professional and I don't think it matters that people know you're using Calendly and you can see it on there. I think it's still a really professional way to give people access to make it easier for them and for you. And number five is Loom. Loom is one of my favorite things and if you've listened to our podcast or you've been around for a while, you hear us talk all about Loom. And I like Loom not only because it is easy, but it saves time on meetings. If you're an agency owner or you work inside of agencies, you know how much time we already spend on, on meetings. So I use Loom to just give feedback. For example, if I'm giving feedback on some creative work, I just jump on Loom and I talk someone through my feedback versus having to type it all out via email. I know that Loom has most recently changed their free version, so you can only have 25 videos. But if you are using the free version, just go in and delete any old videos that aren't important, or you can save them into your downloads and upload them into your drive so that you always have them. If you are serious about nailing your client experience, make sure you get your hands on my client onboarding checklist, where I walk you through the exact onboarding flow we use across hundreds of clients, and you can upload it right into your agency today. So head over to dotandcompany.co slash checklist, or use the link below. Was this video helpful for you and your agency to just know what other agencies are using behind the scenes like us? If so, make sure to give a thumbs up on this video and share it with another agency owner who could use some free apps as well. And again, make sure you connect with us over on social. We also have a podcast specifically for agency owners like you. So we'll see you next time and cheers to happy clients.